this is in no way a video tutorial. Instead, this is a vlog that I wanted to show the process and how I made this particular couple's ring out of deer antler. A buddy of mine approached me a couple of months ago saying that his anniversary is in July and uh, he's actually married to my cousin who comes from the island of Molokai and it was her 15th wedding anniversary so he wanted to do something special um, something meaningful and many of us here in Hawaii know that Molokai is known for deer and hunting so he wanted to incorporate deer antler into this ring that he actually gathered from the island of Molokai so as I completed the core ring blank and the inner channel groove I now move on to the deer antler now deer antler is not easy to work with there are a lot of undulations within the antler and I guess the hardest part that I was having was making sure that whatever I turned down that it still fits the diameter that goes within the ring channel and I believe that was at about 21 millimeters I found a, a piece on the bottom of the antler where the the antler met the skull because I that was the largest diameter I could find on the um, uh, on the piece that was given to me. I used a Forstner bit, which is like a very large drill head, and I plunged that down into the middle of that piece there and created a hole, and I mounted that onto the ring mandrel to get you know that's the inner diameter but now I'm trying to clean out the outer diameter to take off all of the bark of the deer antler and clean it up at this point I'm preparing to cut about a two millimeter piece off of this deer antler so I'm making sure everything is squared off at the end making sure the end is smooth and getting ready to cut off the little piece that's going to go into the channel of the ring. I use a caliper which is like my best friend in ring making because I need to make sure I have at least about a two millimeter cutoff of this deer antler that's going to fit perfectly within in that groove. I then take it off to this little sanding board and I sand it down to the perfect uh, dimensions if you may that fits right into this coal ring groove once I know that that piece fits perfectly within the channel I then uh, glue it on mount the entire ring back onto the ring mantle and I start with a rough shaping and this is just to get that deer antler inlay to marry perfectly with the coal blank there. Um, this is a very important process that it is married perfectly flat because after this the next part is to create small little tiny grooves that's going to accept the gold filled inlay. And to me, that is the hardest part of this process is that gold band. Now, I didn't show that. I didn't show that process of digging in the channel. I have particular tools for that that I that I actually made. But you're gonna see this. I'm filling in the channel with the gold bands. Very extremely meticulous. One of the hardest part of this process is that golden bands because they have to marry perfectly so at this point the ring construction is pretty much finished now it's just a matter of the rough shaping again and also flushing down the gold bands to the ring so it, it makes it look like one continuous piece this is very meticulous also but this process of sanding everything down, also taking out all the glue, um, which requires a lot of shaping also. 
you're gonna notice one thing that I'm gonna do with this is um, while I'm shaping this ring I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper which is pretty aggressive um, but I'm trying to get everything down I'm kind of trying to get everything flat and shaping a slight dome at the top shaping the sides uh, flushing up the sides but in just a little bit you're gonna see me take this ring off of the mandrel and I'm gonna flip it over so that I get um, a, a nice even sand on the other side of that ring also because if I was to just finish it just like that there'll be a slight slant on it so now when I flip that over I can make sure that it is completely flat and completely like a ring now I I didn't do a lot of or I didn't show a lot of these steps into this ring because there's a, another important step after this shaping of the ring which is the final finishing I use a CA glue finish which is a very extremely strong finish CA glue is uh, it's like an industrial super glue if you may but once it's, everything is buffed up and sanded out and buffed you have this extremely high gloss finish which I absolutely love. That process takes a very, very long time. Um, I didn't show that part, and this is the final rings. So, once again, congratulations to Cam and Lohi. Happy anniversary. Love you guys.